What's going on? Welcome again to another T-Series Showcase. For today, I have this BAM Ultra Box for April. Now, first and foremost, they finally put a logo on the BAM Ultra Boxes. It's not just a white box anymore, so that's cool. Uh, the franchise, well, not so much franchise, but the theme for this Ultra Box was Comic Book Vixens. Now, this is also technically the start of something BAM Box is doing. Uh, the BAM comic box has, was introduced where they will do graded comics and boxes. And this, with the comic book fixins, was the first kind of sort of graded comic they put in a box. So this has not only a, from what I heard, dual signed autograph in it. Uh, it also has a graded comic and I think probably, I can assume still the pins. I don't know about the... Uh, the um what's it called art print but lots of packing in it but yeah uh, i'm excited for this i'm a huge comic book fan um and uh i mean obviously i'm wearing spider-man shirt got tons of spider-man stuff up there um the thing with these is that the comics are all graded i believe at a 9.8 which is a fairly decent grade um and yeah, I, I have no idea what this can be from. If I wanted to say, I would I would hope it was something from Marvel. Marvel is definitely where I want to be at. I, it's my favorite. I'm not huge on DC. But, never know what you're going to get. So, this, I can already tell, is the comic. Now, I kind of don't want to do the comic first. I kind of want to do... Alright, so it looks like we do have the uh, art print in here. But I do not... Oh, wait, wait, there's a pin. Oh my god, there's there's a ton in here. There's one, two, three pins. And art print... This box is full. Okay, so... There's three pins, an art print, the graded comic, and an autograph. So there's a lot in here. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started with these pins. Um, go ahead and take them out. Now, these are all comic book vixens from my herd, um, or what it's supposed to be, I should say. So, you know, uh, Black Widow, um, Scarlet Witch, any of them. So, on the back of the pins, it says this pin has a limited release. Numbers are on the back of the pin. Uh, the This fan art pin has been created for, exclusively for the band box and inspired by the artist's love and the fandom. There's a limited amount of pins created. Once these pins have been made, they have vaulted and never made again the BAM box. So, go ahead and show you guys that on the screen. Alright, here we go with the first of three. So, one, two, three. Alright, that is Gamora. That's Marvel. That's sweet. Um, hopefully, a uh, good sign. Maybe we'll have, what's that, Zoe Sandala? Something like that for an autograph? That'd be interesting. Um, no, nothing on the back there. The other thing that BAM had announced is that, uh, with this autograph, or autographs, because it should be a dual sign thing, it is the first time both actresses have signed something together. So, first and foremost, Gamora pin. Very cool. Uh, let's go with this one next. So, so far Marvel. Let's go with this one. So, one, two, three. Mystique. All right, very cool. Let's see if there's any numbers on the back of this one. And nope, no numbers on this one as well, but that's okay. So, so far we have Gamora and Mystique. That's two things Marvel. That's awesome. All right, last pin, which is still in front of me. <laughs> what am I doing? Um, hmm, so Mystique, Gamora, if they're going with Marvel... Let's say, well, this one's big. Let's go with uh, Scarlet Witch. No, um, uh, is that, what's her name, Misty Day? I want to say that that is Misty Day. Um, I could be wrong, but we'll find out in the end more than likely. All right, here we go. Another no number there um either that or it could be monica rambo k 
Captain Marvel. But, don't know. All right, so next up, we have this art print. I'm not looking. I'm just showing you the COA there. All right, so it says... BAM Authentic, Certificate of Authenticity. This fan art inspired art print from our fan art collection was created exclusively for a single run print for BAM box. It is hand signed by the artist who created it and is guaranteed to be authentic. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Upside down. Uh, Valkyrie, right? By the looks of it. So number 615 out of 650. Uh, is this a chalk girl? I think it's the Chalk Girl again. I've had art by her in the past. Very cool. Um, right. There you go. So I'm pretty sure that is Valkyrie from Marvel. Very, very well done there. Enjoying that, the chalk artwork. All right. That's a really cool print. All right. So here's the thing. The comic I'm going to do next. Because the uh, autograph is under... And the autograph is a dual autograph. So the comic is not graded, but here we go. CBCS, one, two, three. Red Sonia. Okay, so this is Red Sonia number four. Um, Dynamite Comics. I'm not gonna lie, I've never really read Red Sonia, so I'm not sure what exactly to get into with this one. Um, but I've actually gotten a Red Sonia comic in the past in one of BAM's boxes. Uh, in one of their fire sale boxes. So, Red Sonia, number four, 9.8 graded. Alright. Pretty cool. Yeah, I, I got a huge collection of graded comics. I mean, mm, what's a good one? I'm gonna get up. Oh, <gasps> standing up. Speaking of Vixens, let's go ahead and do one of my favorite Vixens. Right here. Elsa Bloodstone, one of my favorites right here. Uh, her first appearance, I got this as a 9.8, so it's Bloodstone number one. First appearance of Elsa Bloodstone. Got that at a convention a few years ago. One of my favorites. All right. Here we go, here we go. With the autograph. So I'm not going to look. I'm just going to show you the COA stamp here from Beckett. Okay. I have a feeling it's probably going to be DC because we have a lot of Marvel here. And Red Sonia, which is Dynamite. So this is probably something DC. Knowing my luck. So here we go with one, two, three. Watchmen. Oh. Silk Spectre. And oh, well, obviously I'm pretty sure she, they're both Silk Spectre. That's supposed to be the mother and the daughter. Okay. So here's the funny thing. Watchmen happens to be one of my favorite DC movies. It's one of the only ones I actually will watch and tolerate. So this is actually kind of cool. Um, Right. All right. So I'm not sure their names. So we're going to use the card right here. Oh, you could definitely tell with Watchmen. So here we go. Uh, Comic Book Vixens. April 2021. April's Ultra Box is a celebration to the fierce women in comics that have been inspiring us for generations. We hope you enjoy this box as much as we ha as much as we have putting it together. So the pins I'll do first. Uh come on. So the three pins here. We have to complete our comic vixens box is a pin set inspired by artist Brian Romero, who actually did the uh I have one lying around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. The Ivy pin from um, the Geek Box for Gotham City uh, Sirens. I'm pretty sure that's the same artist. Um, so, there by him, you have Gamora. There's Gamora. Mystique. And Photon, which... Okay, so Photon is not Misty Day, but Photon is uh, Monica Rambo. So, I was right. I knew who that was. Uh, next up, next up, next up. Probably shouldn't be stacking this on top of things. Um, we have, oh my god, there's just, there's a lot in this box. It was a little more expensive than the others, but well worth it, honestly. We have this fantastic, uh, print right here. Uh, it says, this amazing Beth the Chalk Girl, so she's back, shows us her incredible talent in this epic depiction of Valkyrie. So it is Valkyrie, um, 
I do like me some Thor comics every so often. Uh, another graded comic I have within arm's reach is actually uh, this Mighty Thor number 337, the first Beta Ray Bill. And it is signed by the uh, artist Walt Simonson, who drew the cover. So I do like me... Um, oh yeah, and that's a 8.5. I do like me my Thor comics every so often. I do like Beta Ray Bill. Um, so this is a very cool... I love the chalk. It's awesome. Uh, the last one I got, I think, was Ratchet and Clank. So very cool from that. Then we have the Slab comic. So including is a CBCS slab and graded Red Sonia comic to add to your collection. Be on the lookout for various variant covers. So I have this one. Uh, it's kind of in the middle at the bottom there. You can see there were five of them you could have got. I mean, not bad. Red Sonia. Um, cover A. So I have one of the whatever covers. All right. Finally, the Watchmen print, which I'm very excited for, honestly. Um, it says, in first... In first, hell, oh, in a first time ever private signing featuring the duo Carla Trujino and Malin Ackerman, we proudly present the actresses that played the two generations of Silk Spectre in the 2009 blockbuster Watchmen. So, yep. Yeah. All right. That's sweet. If, if it was anything else DC, I would have been like, whatever about, but this is fantastic. All right. Wow. That's a lot to go through, and it's hard for me to even, like, go in order of what's my favorite here. So we're going to try. Uh, so, guys, if you, if you know what your favorite item so far on this was, please comment down below what that is, and I'll get to that in a minute. So we're going to separate all the pins out, too. So at number... What, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six items. At number six, um, I'm going to give it to the Monica Rambo. I like Photon, don't get me wrong. I'm really hyped about the the Marvels movie, but uh, not one of my favorites. Number five would be the Mystique pin. Again, like Mystique, I like X-Men, just again, not one of my favorites. Uh, number four is then Gamora, who is a little bit better. I do like Gamora. Uh, three, I'm going to give it to the Valkyrie print. This was fantastically done, and I really enjoy it. Two is the Red Sonia comic. I like slabbed comics, so this is cool. Um, still determining whether or not I keep it or not is my thing, so don't know yet. And finally, at number one is obviously the Watchmen print. Duh. This is fantastic, and I, I love the fact that they got both Silk Spectres to sign this, so that's great. All right, so what I mentioned was that comment below what your favorite item was. That's because if you do that, and if you're subscribed to my channel, you get entered into the 250 subscriber giveaway. Um, we'll get to that eventually. Uh, if you want to help get to that, make sure to share this video. It does help out a lot. Hit that like button, button on the video, and then also ring the notification bell. That way you know whenever I post a new video. Um, and yeah, uh, check out the description below for various things such as the band box, uh, Zobi, and a few other things. You can also see the T-Series Showcase eBay page, where I'm actually about to hit um, 500 stars, so that's something cool to celebrate. And... Um, I got a bunch of things from the band box on there right now. And then also the T-Series Collectibles eBay page, which is my business, where you can buy various, various uh, different things, such as this D20 plush die dice holder. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I got a few of these blue, black, and purple in stock, so feel free to check these guys out. They're pretty neat. And uh, yeah, that is is now officially if it goes back in the bag that is everything now and i'm this is by far probably one of my favorite ultra boxes i've gotten so i i can't be happier with this so guys i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next one take care